Hi guys, welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm making marinated top round steak. Okay, I'm starting out here in a small bowl. We're going to make our marinade. I'm going to put in a quarter of a cup of Worcestershire sauce. I'm going to put in a third of a cup of soy sauce. Take my little uh, pour out the bottle so it comes out here quicker. I'm going to put in a third of a cup of lemon juice, and I'm just using this uh, ready-to-use lemon juice rather than squeeze the lemons, guys. I'm just going to squeeze the lemon like I just said I'm not using the artificial lemon down to measure a quarter of a cup of that. And this is one of the rare times you don't see me eyeballing. Now I have my lemon juice in. I'm going to add in a half a cup of olive oil. And you want to make sure your bowl's large enough to handle all the ingredients. Okay, now for our dry ingredients. I'm going to put in two tablespoons of garlic powder. I'm going to put in three tablespoons of dry basil. And this is where I'm eyeballing, guys. I'm going to put in about a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm not going to add any salt to this because that soy sauce is more than salty enough to season the steak. And my pepper comes out of here slow, guys, so I'm not... It may look like I'm putting a lot in, but I'm actually not. It just takes a little longer to get it in there. Okay. I'm going to stir this up well. I set this aside just for right now. Okay, now I have two top brown black Angus steaks, so they're roughly about a pound and a half a piece. I'm gonna take my meat tenderizer with the needles, or the little blades, and hit these quick with that to help tenderize them. If you don't have one of these guys, don't worry about it. This will just help break down the tendons and the fiber in the steak. And I'm just hitting them real quick. You don't have to do both sides because the needles go right down through to the bottom. Okay, if you were marinating these the conventional way, well, you want to get them in the marinade and put them in the fridge for about four hours. But since I'm using my vacuum tumbler marinator, I'm going to get the steaks down in here, dump my marinade down over them, and this here is going to take 15 minutes to get the results of four hours. But my steaks are probably going to hang out in here a little long because I'm going to leave them in here until I get the rest of my meal ready. Okay, now my steaks are all vacuum sealed and they're vacuum packed. I'm just going to go ahead and let these marinate for 15 minutes and move on with the rest of my meal. Okay, now that my steaks have marinated, I have my grill plate heated up here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grill these for about five minutes on each side. I'm going to turn my heat up a little higher, guys. So when I'm ready to turn these over, I'll be back. Okay, now that my steaks have grilled on one side, I'm going to turn them over and do the other side. And I decided to let these go for six minutes per side, because we like to steak a little more on the well, well side than rare. So I'm going to give them six minutes on this side, guys. Okay, now that my steaks are done grilling on the other side, I'm going to get them off of here and put them on a plate to rest, tenant and pour for about five minutes. Okay, now that my steak has rest for five minutes, let's go ahead and cut this up and fix up a plate and see what we got. I also went ahead and made some red skin mashed potatoes and some garlic pepper steamed broccoli to go with this. So there you have it, marinated top brown steak. Give it a try. Thanks for watching, and until next time, I'll see you.